What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have an exciting new rip and the start of a new series here on the channel. So what I have in front of me is a box of 1516 Prism Hobby. Now this box contains rookies of Jokic, of Devin Booker, and Carl Anthony Towns. And speaking of Jokic, we are chasing Nikola Jokic's Prism rookie and he won the MVP for the 2021 season. So I thought it'd be cool to try to pull one of his rookies. Now this is a $2,000 box and it is definitely risky. Now in the case we don't pull him, and it'll be pretty tough to pull his rookie card, but in the case we don't pull him, I will buy the card. Not for myself, though. It'll be for you guys. I'm going to give away his card if I can't pull the card. So that's kind of the, the stakes here. If I can't pull it myself, then you guys get a giveaway. And I'll probably buy a probably a raw one. If not raw, maybe like a PSA 9 or a BGS 9 and uh, give that away. So if you want to win that card, all you got to do is like the video, subscribe, and comment anything down below. Just keep it uh, friendly, keep it appropriate, and that's it. You are entered. And that giveaway will be if we do not pull the card. So this box here, definitely exciting. Now, Jokic was drafted in 14, 15. He was, that was a... Uh, I guess year he was, uh, of course, drafted, but he didn't debut till the following year, which would be this one. So if you're wondering why he's in this box and not last year's Prism, uh, that's because he debuted this year. So this is the box here, and it's a risky one. If you guys like these, definitely show the support in these vids, and I'm also going to do one, a bigger version of this, chasing some other big stuff. So if you have any recommendations of guys you want me to chase or um, you know any player of some sort that you want us to try to pull rookies of, drop the comment down below, and uh, maybe we can do that one in the future. So definitely open some suggestions. But yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do from this one. And in the background, we have... Well, first of all, we have our top loaders helping us out. Stand the box up. Thank you, top loaders. We have Giannis twice. The reason I picked Giannis is because he won the last two MVPs. So that's uh, that earned him the spot in the back. And we have our handy-dandy little blade to get this open. Let's see how we do. And uh, once again, let's see, how, let's see how it goes. If I don't pull it, it's uh, some high stake. I have to buy it. And it's not, not for myself, unfortunately. So here we go. Box has been cut. Ooh. This is some serious risking it for the biscuit. We've done some pretty risky rips before. This is uh this is up there because you're definitely not guaranteed. I would say you get about maybe 10, anywhere from nine to like 10, 11, 12, somewhere around there, uh, rookies per, and there's about 50 guys in the set. Uh, this is a very large set. So there's 300 vets, 50 rookies, but in addition to that, there's these kind of all NBA, all star, and MVP sets there. Uh, Curry being that one card. So it's a 400 card set. So even harder to pull those guys. All the stuff you can pull here. There you go. So um, one autograph, 12 prisms, 20 packs, four cards per pack. Look for on card rookie signatures. And there you go. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. And here's our packs. I'll put these here. All right. Pack number one. Here goes nothing. So if you guys like sports card content, like basketball, football, want to see us try to pull some cool cards, and, um, oh, there goes the box. Anything like that, definitely, uh, once again, show the support, drop a like in the vid, subscribe, and I'll have many more like this, uh, showing new products, trying to pull cool cards, and things like that. This actually reminds me of the original Prism set, uh, 1213, I believe it was. Kind of looks like that a little bit, but there's the design here, so an older Prism set. This is about, you know, several years from the past, and... Let's see what we can pull. All right, so Curry there, Cliff Robinson. And... Oh, there's the MVP card. So that's a Steph Curry. So there's only one of these. I don't know how rare they are, but that's pretty solid. Curry MVP from Prism, and there's only one player in the whole set, and that is Curry. Um, winning the MVP that previous year. We have a rookie, Silver. It is Justice Winslow. Especially at the time, that's actually pretty good, considering he was... The 10th pick, I think. And he's supposed to be picked a little higher, probably. Fell to the heat there. Now a Grizzly for my team. All right. So, on the board with the Winslow. He uh, he had some injury problems. Closed off the year very strong, though, with one, one big game. So, we'll see if he can continue that. I'm hoping he can. All right. Next pack up. There's one of our Prisms there. And Prism... Prism hasn't been too kind to us. We've tried a lot of Prism, especially this year's class, and I don't know, Prism, Prism doesn't like me, but there's a lot of names from the past, some familiar names. We Scola there. Sprewell, Rookie, Thunder, I don't know. Oh, Campaign! Oh, boy. In the beginning, I mentioned Towns, Booker, and Jokic. Forget them. Campaign. My first one of one, if you guys follow me on Instagram, Pac-Man Cards there, uh, drop a follow if you haven't. That's where I post all sorts of stuff, you know, kind of just highlights, um, early news on 
upcoming products, exclusive info, stuff like that. But uh, my first one of one I ever pulled was Campaign from a limited box. If you go to my oldest videos, it's my first, it's a 1516 limited I opened. And I pulled Campaign as a one of one, my very first one, and I uh, kind of just stashed it away. And then it went bonkers in the playoffs, and I, I dug it back out. So really awesome to see him after all these years have some success. Fireworks, Mike Conley. And here's those all star sets. So Kyle Corver, this is technically a base card. And they filled the set with these. So you're going to get a lot of these all-star ones. All right. And that curry is actually pretty cool. I don't know why I put it there. I'll put that there. All right. Next pack up. Yeah, as, uh, as I was saying, if you have any recommendations, say there's a certain guy you want us to chase, certain you know theme or a certain box you want us to open, uh, feel free to comment down below and I can see if that's something we can do. It's always fun opening some of these older stuff and seeing how it is. Derek Favors, silver, all right. And rookie. Oh, it's... it's... Oh, ho, 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 baby, we got him. We got Jokic. Wow. And here's a little story about this card, actually. So before I uh, bought this box, or maybe around... Maybe it was in transit, I don't remember. But uh, around that time, I was wondering, how good are these boxes? How you know frequent do these Jokic come out? I watched a couple cases, 12 box cases of this product, and I saw... Only a few Jokic. They were, he's probably the rarest one. Now, obviously, I was only looking for the top guys. But I saw a decent amount of Bookers, decent amount of Towns, and I saw almost no Jokic's. So I got very concerned. And the centering looks solid. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. I'm a little shaking it. I don't know if you can see, but I'm shaking a little bit. Oh, boy. I pulled the Jokic. Awesome way to start the first one. And regarding stuff like the giveaway, as I said, I'll have many of these, so... The odds are we won't always pull the guy we're chasing. Say we're pulling Steph Curry, uh, searching for Steph Curry, LeBron, something like that. The odds are we're probably not going to pull them. This is a definitely uh, defying the odds there. So they'll have uh, giveaways for the stuff like that too, and I'll announce them in those videos. So we pulled them this time. Wonder if we can pull a parallel too. So it was the base that I definitely had in mind, but you know who knows? Maybe we can pull a silver or a purple. As well as Devin Booker and Towns, guys who I don't have too much of. I have a Devin Booker auto that I got really lucky to pull a while back. And I don't think I have much Towns. John Stockton, Flash, and All-NBA third team, Tim Duncan. Like, I don't get why the third team's getting a... Tim Duncan, I love Tim Duncan. And I think this is the only year they made these sets as part of the base, and I don't think it was too popular, so they didn't do it again, but the Flash are not numbered. Ooh-wee. I, I have... I'm sure a lot, if you open packs, I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking, you know, sometimes you're about to open up a box of, say, Prism, right? And you're like, oh, imagine if I pull a one of one or Gold Lamello. I've been dreaming to pull that Jokic. I'm so happy I pulled it because uh, I, I have, like, no Jokic stuff at all. And I pulled one auto a little while back. And this is when he was a very good player, but he wasn't, you know, one of the top, top players in the league yet. So I sold it. And not the best move. Celtics, Hunter. Terry Rozier, all right. Another good player, and don't gap. But yeah, I, I've been really hoping I could pull that one, so very, very happy to uh, pull that, that Jokic there. Awesome. All right. Ooh. Now, we could squeeze out a Booker. That would be Colossal Ultra Mega Dub. Bad News Banes. Nick Young. Meme God there. Oh, oh Larry Nance Jr. Flash. Okay, okay. And Marcus all big Spain. So there we go, Larry Nance Jr. These flash are not numbered. Now, one thing that like we we know Prism the way it is today, but Prism Prism has had a lot of different things going on throughout the uh, past few years, I'd say, or several years. It's changed a lot. I mean, they used to have these sets in there. They made a bunch of different formats, different kind of cards to chase. So in the past, I'd say three to four years. I say three years. Prism has been pretty. Uniform, but in the year before that, it was constantly changing. They'd add different parallels, different sets, change the numbering. We have a red uh, wave here. Our prism is the the set of sets. Look at young Stephen Adams. It's cool opening these these older products. Look at this guy. And got Chris Paul. And then we have rookie red. Uh, Teron Petaway. Teron Petaway. Hmm. All right. 
Actually, this might be numbered. It is numbered to 350. Cool. The red waves used to be numbered and now they are very not numbered. They are in retail too. So times have changed. All right. I really want to look at that Jokic closer, see the condition because say you get a PSA 10, maybe BGS 10. I mean, that thing is, is something special, but definitely awesome to add that to my collection. Big Spain again and Boogie Cousins. All right. We're still looking for the autograph and maybe, maybe some numbered prisms. The Winslow, especially at that time, that's, that's a pretty good one for me being a Grizzlies fan. That's even better. And there's a Dirk there. Should be numbered. We'll check in a second. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Miles Turner. That's actually not bad either. Hmm. And that is a 57 of 350. All right. Put Dirk there and a Miles Turner prison base. And we'll sleeve them up. All right. So we got two, uh, two to three pretty good prison rookies. The only thing that I think would make this even better would be a Booker or Towns and somehow getting a numbered, like, I don't know, a numbered Booker. One of one Booker, that would be truly excellent. One of one Jokic. See now with these older sets, it's kind of tough to go back and see which ones were pulled. Like to my knowledge, the eighteen nineteen Prism Black One of One Luke was never pulled. Brandon Dawson. Maybe it was pulled. So someone said nothing about it. That has happened before, but like, has the one of one Booker, the one of one Jokic, ever been pulled from these? I'm not sure. Or gold would be sweet too. You never know with Prism. It has the highest ceiling, which is why it's so fun to open. A lot of silvers in here. I thought that maybe since less 1516 was made, that maybe we'd have a higher chance of Dante Exum there of hitting some of those parallels. D'Angelo Russell. Hmm. All right. This is a, this is a pretty good so far. We still have some packs left. D'Lo. Nice. All right. Well. Pleasant surprise. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Marcus Morris. Not too happy in that picture. Carl Landry. Frank Kaminsky Emergent. And that's now a retail insert in, uh, I guess, the more modern prism sets. Frank Kaminsky. One of the first big, for the time, first big basketball cards I pulled, and it was actually in a group break, was a Frank Kaminsky uh, RPA to 25 from Excalibur. My first group break I joined, and that was like the case hit. So I was off the walls. Now, he didn't end up becoming a superstar of any sort, but that was really awesome to pull. Kawhi, James Harden. Got a Tyler Zeller. Uh, Justice Winslow. Oh, Josh Richardson. That's not terrible. He's, he's a solid player. One, two, three. A 350 Tyler Zeller. Put him there. And Josh Richardson. Now a Mav. All right, how many do we have left? We have, I'll say several packs left. Yeah, keep going. Now Jokic at the time is, is not a good pull. Justice Winslow is a great pull probably. D'Angelo Russell would be a very good pull. And um, yeah, Jokic, you're probably looking at Jokic going, eh, next, 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 next. Because he's just a second round pick from the year before. You know, no one thought it was anything crazy. Got a Om Omri Caspi. All right. And I think we have a rookie here. Purple again. Larry Nance Jr. Still still in the league, so that's a plus. To 99. So this used to be, the purple used to be to 99. There's Caspi there. Then they went to 75, and then they went back to 99. All right. I think we have like five left. This is a lot of fun to open. One that I haven't opened before. And take a look at those older sets. Chris Bosch. Love Bosch. We've got Jared Solinger, Miritich, and Pau Gasol. All right. Next one. Let's see if we can maybe get, get that last rookie. Uh, what is it? Oh! There's autographs in this stuff, right? I was like, whoa, green prism? What? In prism, I always forget there's an autograph to find because you're always looking for that color. Uh, green, probably Celtics, I guess. It's not Jordan Mickey, is it? Oh, oh boy. Boom. 
Ooh wee. Jordan Lemicki. Ah. If he ever became a superstar and played in the bubble, those memes would be crazy. Jordan Mickey. All right. So there's our, our, our super auto. I know what you're just thinking. Boom. And uh, let's see what else we can get from the last few packs here. Point men, John Wall. And Curry, all-star. I think it'd be a promo card in every pack. But they're all the same code, right? Yeah, so what's the point of giving me a hundred of these? I don't know, maybe it's a waste of cardboard. They're all the same code. All right, last, uh, last two packs here. I always try to think of, in perspective of the time when this came out, how was the box? And uh, once again, that Winslow Silver would definitely be a big dub. Larry Nance Jr. As well as getting the D-Lo. So I think we technically gotten our, our fill. Tim Hardaway Jr. and Russell Westbrook. All right, does last pack mojo exist? Can we get one more little something something in this box? One pack, and that's empty box. All right, wish us luck. Once again, I have uh, some plans to do many more of these, including one very big one. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys like these videos, it would uh, mean the world if you mean the world if you show the support in them, like. Sub, share, comment, and as always, thank you guys. Oh, is this a rookie here? Oh, maybe it's a troll. Oh, I thought we I thought we had a rookie silver to close it off. Marcus Morris. That's that's what I was thinking once I saw that mirror background. All right, one more rookie. Black Nets maybe. Uh, beats me. Ryan Boatwright. All right. Boatwright. There we go. So, let's take a look at all we got. It was a lot of fun, and um, it was a mission successful. I honestly. Did not think we would uh, pull the card, but we did. So let's take a look. And you know, the, the obvious is I could have just bought the card, right? But um, main goal is to have fun and hope you guys enjoy these videos and just uh, have a good time. It was always try to, uh, fun to try to pull the cards, I'm trying to say. And we were able to do it. So sometimes we will win, sometimes we'll lose. But yeah, the main, main goal is just to have a good time. So yeah, I know I could have just bought the card, but it's always fun to do these. So hopefully you guys like these vids and here's kind of just everything you got you get tons of these inserts now these technically are not inserts but they feel like inserts and here's our our highlight stack and we have we have a highlight but right jordan jordan mickey got omri caspi larry nance jr and got josh richardson so it feels like we only got one numbered card but those red waves are also numbers so technically we got like like four three or four uh, we got Tyler Zeller, D'Angelo Russell, and Miles Turner. So some pretty solid prison rookies. Also, once we got the, uh, the Russell, I didn't think we were getting Towns, and I didn't think we were getting Booker because I don't believe I saw those guys in the same, you know, box together ever. Uh, Chris Paul, these are the three fifty. Got Larry Nance Jr. Flash, Terry Rozier. That's a good one. We got the Joker. We got him, and he's a cool Curry. I actually like that. Campaign and Justice Winslow. So I want to put them all in the highlights. Man, it was this was fun. I really want to do some more of these. So. I don't know, let me know. Do you guys want to see more of these videos? Is this something you like? We'll put these in the highlight. And what a time. We uh, we defied the odds. If you're wondering how tough it is to pull these once again, 12 box case. I saw like one, maybe one, two pulled from a case. So we actually pulled the Jokic and uh, it looks to be in pretty good condition. Hopefully when I look at it closer, it is. So a lot of fun. Stay tuned for a very big one coming. And um, yeah, you guys like these videos, drop a like. Sub, share, comment, and we'll definitely get some more going. So, mission accomplished. I'd love to show all these guys at once, but it has to go down to the Joker. Congrats on his MVP. And maybe a year from now, we'll chase whoever the next MVP is, and this guy will be in the back. Hopefully, PSA 10, BGS Black Label. But, really fun time. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, big one coming soon, so uh, stay tuned. And any recommendations, feel free to drop them below, and maybe we can do those. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.